Now, despite the Ukrainian conflict claiming more lives every day, Kyiv is getting further support from its Western backers. The Obama administration now plans to train and equip National Guard fighters, while the EU is quietly lifting a ban on supplying Ukraine with weapons. Andrew Farmer joins me live now for more. Well, Andrew, this doesn't sound at all like it's going to help the de-escalation they all keep talking about, does it? No, well, the latest move by the European Union has certainly angered Moscow. The EU has lifted a ban uh, on the supply of military equipment and technology to the Ukrainian government. But Russia's foreign ministry says this amounts to double standards because the ban was actually imposed last February to prevent the then President Yanukovych from using such equipment against anti-government protesters. But it now seems OK to use the very same equipment in the ongoing conflict in the east of the country, which Moscow fears could inflame the situation. Uh, the actual ban was removed uh, by the Council of Europe on the quiet, according to Moscow, which has gone on to say the EU is not applying logic to the situation and is in fact just reacting to being prodded by Washington. Uh, Washington, meanwhile, has announced plans to fund, train and equip the Ukrainian National Guard. We should point out that this is not part of the Ukrainian regular army. It's a subsidiary, if you like, that was recently set up that includes conscripts and also members of the far right, including the right sector, which is another concern for Moscow. The Pen Pentagon hopes to fund it to the tune of something like $19 million, although this is still subject to uh, congressional approval. All right, Andrew, thanks very much for this update. Andrew Farmer reporting there.